What's up everybody? Graver here and today we are going to be taking a look at something that I've wanted to get my hands on for quite some time and glad I finally did and that is the Moose 2. So oh, this is the Moose 2. Now you're probably asking yourself exactly what? So the Moose 2 is the brainchild of Eric the Moose. Um, this is the second iteration of it. The original Moose was a big, huge, mega dart firing sniper rifle. This is its, I guess you can say, little cousin. Uh, this is a half dart or half mega dart firing bullpup bolt action blaster. Um, so what we're going to do for this review and as with all of my reviews my opinions are my own but to get everything out of the way now i did purchase this from foam demic which is licensed through eric the moose i did get some extras with this that i did not order as a sorry i i don't know if it was a because a sorry this took so long or hey you're going to review it so here's some extra stuff either way um but what we're going to do is, like with any of my videos, is we're going to go over how it works, how it looks. I'm not going to be opening this up, even though it is supposed to be pretty easy. I just don't want to, because it's a 3D printed blaster and I don't want to lose anything. Um, we're, going to, we're going to go over the quality of the prints, and then I'm going to give you my final thoughts on the blaster itself. So, how this thing works is, as mentioned, it is a bolt-action blaster. So, just like the original Moose, original Moose, I'm sorry, it's hot. Um, you have a bolt on the side here, which racks back this huge prime slide up on the top here. So, you pull this back, push it forward, pull the trigger, and you fire your dart. So, this does have, I guess you can call it a mega skinny pusher in the back here. So, you can easily just remove your magazines without having to prime the blaster, which is really great. Um, so, going over, going over the aesthetics of the blaster, uh, since this is a 3D printed product, as long as the store that you're ordering this from offers it, you can basically get it in whatever colors you want. Uh, I decided to go with my traditional purple and gray. Uh, I There was no extras where I would be able to see a whole lot of the orange parts of this, so I did not special ask for, excuse me, I did not ask for anything to be printed in red. Um, one thing I will note that's a little different on mine than what was on what you'll see like in pictures is the back ovals or windows here in uh, like the glamour shots that I've seen have actually been clear because if you look on top here you can actually see the plunger tube. You're supposed to be able to see the plunger tube but for some reason mine was printed closed. I don't mind. Uh, but just figured throw that out there. Uh, there are some markings on here So you do have on this side of the blaster the moose 2 19 by 53 HL on that side and on this side you have the you have Eric's logo there Now just for flavor. I did add a dark angels insignia back here and then, of course, my Dark Angels, well, my last Dark Angels purity seal up here. The other one being on, where is it? Ah, Lion's Fury, which is my strifle right there. So, fun things with this blaster are, as I mentioned, Mega Skinny Pusher. You don't have to worry about that. Covered that. One thing I did want to note, which was I thought was kind of interesting, is the... Magazine release is actually uh, powered or supported by a bungee cord. Nothing wrong with that. I just wanted to point it out. Uh, now, going on to what I had originally ordered to what I received. So, 
with the main body of the blaster in and of itself. You will get a thumb hole stock, so this little piece does come printed on, I believe it's all versions of the Moose 2, which is basically also support for your handle or your grip. Uh, what I did get as extras, though, are the handguard up here, along with the angled foregrip, the Picatinny portion of upper rail. Uh, this normally would just come with very large iron sights, uh, but you do get, but with the upgraded versions, you do get the Picatinny rail. And I also got this extension piece, which kind of is a, I guess you can say kind of like a, I don't know, I'm trying to think of the word, uh, almost like a, not deception, but kind of like hidden barrel. So it would cover up your barrel down here, making it look like you're firing from up here, but you're really not. This is just a dummy barrel. Uh, but this was a nice addition, and I am grateful for them. Uh, I'm probably not going to be adding this to mine because I like this particular look because it reminds me very much of a bolter from Warhammer 40K. I know it's not a one-to-one, -one, but it gives me those feels, and that was... 90% of the reason why I got this. The other 10% don't matter anymore because I originally got this for use at APOC because I wanted a Jedi killer uh, in Uno games, uh, which are the which is the region around here. Uh, there are the Jedi rules, which is where you have the unstoppable melee player, and the only way to stop them is either a throwable. Uh, sorry, an approved throwable sock bomb or mega darts. Genius, right? Well, no, because half mega darts don't count as mega dart shots. They count as regular dart shots. So, on me. However, there is an upside to that. If I wanted to down the line or whatever, and kind of, I guess you can say, upgrade this, um, I can actually get a different back end here along with a different pusher, so that I can use full-length magazines, so this would actually be able to fire full-length mega darts, which means this would be my new Jedi killer. Um, but for right now, I am happy with the half darts. Uh, the half darts are honestly kind of fun. Uh, it's wild, the kind of performance that I'm getting out of these. Like, the distance is really good. Uh, on Foamdemic's website, or on their Etsy page, I should say, it says you can get Anywhere from like 170 to 200 out of these. I'm personally averaging about 150 with this. Um, and again, I'm fine with that because when Mega first came out, I don't think any of us really thought, oh, we're going to get 150 out of them. So um, it could just be a matter of I need to kind of, I guess, um, kind of standardize my darts because I unfortunately don't have a jig to cut these properly with. I'm kind of eyeballing them. So my darts are varying in length, which is probably why I'm not getting the full uh, FPS out of it. But to me, FPS is just a number. This thing is hitting, looks like it's shooting pretty damn well, which I am very happy with. Um, going on to the quality of print, um, for the most part, I will say this. I used to get a lot of good stuff from Home Demic. Like, very rarely would I have any hiccups with uh, prints or any issues or anything like that. Unfortunately, quality slipped a little bit over the last bit. Um, as I had mentioned when I built my Fallout pistol, the I had to do a lot of work on those prints. Um, it was chalked up to design, but I, I don't print, so I can't say that for certain. Uh, I still have the laser rifle, which I have to build, but I haven't really started that yet because those prints do need a lot of work to get cleaned up on. Um, in regards to this, now, I'll get into pricing later on, but the majority of this is printed very well. I'm very happy with the majority of it. There are a couple of things that I'm not too happy with, and that is actually spacing. Um, there are a couple of rough parts, and I'll just point those out now real quick. One being right here in the handguard, and 
regardless of freebie or not, I'm still pointing it out. Uh, right here in the handguard, this must have been where there was support material because it is really rough, like right there. Um, in the thumbhole stock, the connection piece here, there's some layering things, but I don't, that's not a major concern of mine because it's not, it's not rough, but I just pointed it out. I do want to point out though, the gapping that I have between this piece here and this piece here. I mean, the caps are pretty noticeable. I, again, I don't know 3D printing all that well, so I don't know if you could just print this in one shot since this is kind of the same piece for everything. Um, but I mean, that would at least help with the spacing on there, I guess you could say. Um, and like I said, the only issue I had here was the fact that those are kind of rough. Um, other thing in regards to spacing is in the slide itself, like right back here, you can visibly see that gap, which also goes, which also matches on the other side. Um, again, that's a pretty noticeable gap in the slide itself but also i had noticed up here and i think you can kind of see it pretty well it looks like instead it looks like something may have gotten misprinted because there's either layering some like really major layering issues there or there are spacers and that i'm i will be honest i'm not sure what happened there so either there was some layering issues with that particular uh, printed piece or they were not aligned properly and some pieces had to be printed out to like layer up a major gap. But there is, I mean, those are that. And I've always said I'm going to mention any, any and all things in my reviews, which is, you know, just how I do things. But other than those, sorry if the blaster hit the mic. Um, other than those issues, the print quality is good. Um, there is no artifacting. There is no other, any major issues or anything like that, that I could really kind of take note of. So other than a few hiccups, which are really i guess you can say cosmetic they're not structural like this thing isn't falling apart because if it was believe me i would be returning it but it it has a few flaws but it's still getting the job done i'm good with that so on to my final thoughts of this blaster but as is Okay, so my final thoughts on the Moose 2. I have pros, I have cons, I have issues. That's given, but I mean I had issues with everything that went on. But for the most part, the pros. Um, this is a fun blaster. Uh, it, it's not every day you see something firing mega darts that's hobby built, let alone half mega darts. Um, the, the style of this thing, I absolutely love. It's the the action on it is really smooth. The prime back and forth, so you can feel the spring in there, but at the same time, you also it's also usable. It's not like you're going ugh, ugh, the entire time. Um, I mean, my twelve year old son can use this thing, so take that for what it is. Um, some of the cons, though, I will give. Um, one, regarding the blaster, some regarding other things, but regarding the blaster, this thing is heavy. I mean, like, heavy. I mean, look at, looking at it, you're like, well, duh, that's a lot of plastic. Yeah, but this is like six and a half pounds of plastic, like solid plastic. Like, this, like I'm getting tired holding this damn thing with all the takes that I've tried to do on this video. Um, but yeah, this thing is a beast of a blaster. Like, I don't think I would be good to run this thing all day long. Like, switching it out for a round or two, sure. But 
I would not be able to field this alone for an entire day. No way. Um, I'm going to put this down because the cons on this are over. Um, but these were one thing I wanted to bring up. And this isn't so much a buyer beware type of situation. This is more of a buyer pay attention. And that was in the fact of my not paying attention in regards to these. Now, it's nothing to do with the magazine itself, although I don't remember if I had mentioned it earlier or not, but with the way these were printed, I did have to kind of work them a bit so that the follower was going up and down. It was getting a little stuck on things, but it also could have been the way I cut the darts. Um, but these are a proprietary magazine. Now, you can get them in a variety of um, capacities. You can get them in 7 round, 10, 12, and 15. I got 10 round magazines because I thought that would be enough. If I'm using this thing competitively or even, you know, just in random rounds, if I went through 30 shots without getting tagged out, I would have been gobsmacked. But I thought I was getting three 10 round magazines because the 10 rounders, what I saw in the pictures. Well, when my order finally came in, I did not, I only had two magazines. Um, I messaged Foamdemic in regards to that and be like, hey, I think I'm missing a magazine. And they were like, no. And I go, explain. And I was given a screenshot of the item description from Etsy. And at the very, very bottom of it, it does say magazines are sold separately. And that's kind of a dick move. And this isn't sour grapes on my end of things. This is just my personal take on this, because if you're using a blaster that has a proprietary magazine, the blaster should come with at least one so that you can use it when you get it. Um, even if you're just printing a seven round to ship with these, that's fine. It's at least something that they could use. I'm not saying print 15 round magazines with these. No, print the smallest one, print a seven round one, you know, do the bare minimum on it, but at least ship it with a magazine. Because if I did not order my spares, I wouldn't have had any for this. And I would have been pissed because then how am I supposed to use it? Um, another thing I did want to point out, and this was just a, I, just something to let everyone know. Now, when I had originally placed my order for this, I was supposed to get it, give or take, around the time Maryland Mayhem was happening. So I ordered in the beginning of April. I was told I'd be getting it lit, like late mid-April, like around like the 20th. Um, Blaster never shipped. Did talk to Foam Demic about that. Was told, sorry, it's about three quarters of the way done. I'll print out a bunch of extra stuff for you on it. No worries. I'm like, all right, cool, free, yay. However, it took then an additional month or so for me to get my blaster. And then the issue with the magazine, but that is that. Um, but overall, I like this thing. I really do. Eric really made a beast of a blaster, and he made something unique to the hobby. Because, let's face it, Half dart blasters are essentially becoming a dime a dozen. You very rarely get to see like full, fully worked up mega blasters. And I'm not just talking about something that you can convert to fire it. No, I mean like dedicated platforms that are specifically mega dart or half mega dart, something like that. So, I mean, it's unique, it's fun, it's heavy, but I really like it. Um, that's where we're going to end it for this video. And as always, if you enjoy the content we put here on the channel, please throw us a like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the moose too. Or if you've handled the moose, how do you like that one? And, you know, leave a comment. I love reading them. And, oh, don't forget to click that little bell icon. Otherwise, you may not know what me and Arlene are doing our silliness here on the channel. And don't forget, we do have the P.O. Box. So if you want to send us some snail mail, I'm not going to say no. So, again, thank you all for joining us. I'm going to go hydrate 
and I will see you guys next time. Later. Thank you.